welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another weekly vlog. So it is um, Friday, March 10th, and um, I'm about to make some eggs. So I've been doing like pesto eggs recently. I'm like really loving it. So I'm just gonna put on some basil pesto on the pan on the stove. And we will let that heat up. But for some reason this week, I really just didn't have time or energy to film vlogs. Like, I don't know what happened, but, well, I know what happened. I was really, really busy this week with work. So that kind of took the forefront. I was literally working like nonstop. So yeah, this week has been a little bit stressful at work, um, just mainly because I have so much stuff to do and so many to do's. And every meeting that I go to, somebody gives me something else to do, which is fun being a marketing team member of one because it's all up to me, which is great. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm a little bit stressed. I had to move you a little bit so I can get to my silverware drawer. But um, yeah, so besides being stressed at work this week, I honestly did not do much. Yesterday, Ryan and I went on a little picnic. That was pretty fun. Um, I have been working with a UGC content creation company where they send you a product to test and make a video about. Um, it's not paid or anything, it's just like sending you the product for free and then you just make content with it and send it to them. So that's been like pretty fun for me recently, especially like build my UGC portfolio. Um, so that's definitely something I wanna explore this year is content creation and getting paid for it, not just doing it on my own, but I'm building a really good resume, so. That was yesterday. We did a little picnic. I was about to put eggs in the cupboard. Who am I? Did a little picnic for, oh, I have actually a can of wine company. Um, I believe they're Union Wine Co. So that was about the extent of the fun that I had this week. I feel like this is just a better angle for us. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna move you over here. But today is Ryan's last day at his current company. So they're doing like a happy hour for him this afternoon. And then another happy hour that me, myself, Kai, and we're watching Ray, Kai's sister, will be attending since it is at like an outdoor bar area. So we can bring our dogs. So that would be later today, probably not until like five or so. So that is something to look forward to, I'll definitely get dressed up and put makeup on and stuff. But for now, I was just bumming it, honestly. Um, I've been kind of revamping my workout schedule and doing Pilates on Mondays and Fridays. And when I do that, I finish at 7.30, like I get back home at 7.30. So I really don't have a lot of time to get ready for work. So I just quick shower and then sit on the computer for a few hours and then I'll come over and make my breakfast. Um, that's kind of been the routine so far. And I'm really enjoying it. I really found a passion for Pilates in December of last year. You guys know I started, I think I started on class pass um, with a free trial and I really, really loved it. So if you guys are thinking of doing Pilates, I totally recommend it, it's really fun. Um, I come from a dance background, so it's really fun for me because some of the movements are kind of similar to like what dancers would do. And it gives you like a long and lean body, which I really enjoy and it works the abs which I kind of never do besides doing that. So that's the routine. Monday and Friday Pilates, Tuesday and Thursday weightlifting, and then Wednesday is like my break, and Saturday and Sunday I just do whatever. So that's me. Um, but yeah, just making breakfast, gonna hop back on the computer. I've got a lot of meetings um, at work today, well, online today and then I'll take you guys with me for the happy hour. So that's a, that's like it for the updates for now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go eat and I will talk to you guys later. Hello guys. So I am now dressed and ready to go to happy hour. Um, I'm just wearing this top from Zara, it's a square neck. I tucked it in to make it look like a bodysuit, but it's not. Um, and then these are old navy jeans. I love them so much. I'm wearing a little heart necklace and then just a really simple chain. And these really, really pretty dome croissant earrings that I got. Um, I think I got them from a Rocks box and then I purchased them. So yeah, that's the little look. 
and I'm gonna take these two goobers, these two goobers with us. So wish me luck carrying two dogs at once. Well, not carrying them, just having them. <laughs> currently Saturday, March 11th, and it's like 2.40, and I just got back from Target. So last night was a lot of fun at Ryan's kind of going away happy hour with his work buddies, and we brought the dogs. Oh, there's Ray Ray and there's Kai. But yeah, last night was a lot of fun. Woke up this morning and did a um, Peloton live yoga class. It was a lot of fun. That was my first time trying their live classes and it was really nice. So we did, I did that this morning and then Ryan and I cleaned up the apartment. It took not a lot of time at all, which was great. So much less time to clean than our three-story townhome. So that was great. Um, and then I went to Target to pick up, I have a wedding shower tomorrow for my cousin whose wedding I'll be in. Um, and so I picked up her gifts, so I'll show you those. And then I'm gonna show you a few things that I picked up from Target just because I wanted to. So let me start with her gift. So I picked up these Cuisine Art Stainless Steel knife set. Really cute, I like the white that she picked from her registry. And then um, this spatula set from OXO Softworks. And then I got like a little card set. Aren't these beautiful? These are just blank cards, so I can use them time and time again, some tissue paper, and then just a really pretty big bag. So that's what I got her from Target. So I'll pack that up and have that ready to go tomorrow for her. And then I, as you can see behind me, picked up a wreath for our front door. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is from Hearth and Hand, 24 inch artificial wreath, eucalyptus with berries and it was 35. I just think this is gorgeous and perfect for year round. I might end up getting like a fall and a winter wreath, but this one will be perfect for just the whole rest of the year. And then I picked up a doormat for us. It says, welcome friends. It's super cute and simple. And this one was, it doesn't say on here, but I believe 15 and it's from Threshold. And then of course I went in the body care section. I was actually looking for the, I, I believe it's called French, um, Ashley Tisdale's line, and I did not find it, but I did find the new Tree Hut body scrub, so I did pick up the vanilla one. So I'm really curious to smell this. It's a vanilla shea sugar scrub made with vanilla fruit, oak kernel extracts, and colloidal gold for smooth, renewed skin. It smells really simple. Like it doesn't really have that much of a scent to it. So I'm curious when using it, if it'll smell stronger. But to me, it smells like simple vanilla from Pink, from Victoria's Secret Pink. That's what it smells like to me. So it smells good though. It smells really simple, but not very strong at all. Um, and then I saw some really cute sandals. So I picked up these little nude ones with like a little baby heel. These were 25 and this is the brand A New Day. I just thought they were so cute. I always see adorable shoes at Target and I'm like already thinking in my head, oh, these will be great for summer and I'll wait and buy them in summer. And then when summer comes around, they're already sold out. So I just went ahead and bought these because there's no sense in waiting for them if I know I'm gonna wear them. So I picked those up and then I picked up this bodysuit, which I'm so excited about. And this one, um, I believe is like viral on uh, Instagram from the brand Colsey. I got a medium and it was $18 but it's really cool. So first off, it has this like little cutout in the middle and one side is a V-neck. You can't really even tell that it's a V-neck because it's black, you can't see. But yeah, one side is a V-neck and the other side has this cool like cutout right here. So I don't know, it's gonna be really fun. I don't own a black bodysuit, I only own a white one. So I figured it would be good to own one myself. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll try this on probably later on. Um, but I need to shower because I never showered after doing yoga. Um, I'm probably going to put together this gift, shower, and then film some YouTube videos because I need to film. Um, I think I'm going to film my Project Wax because I actually haven't updated it since January. I don't know why I skipped February. I guess I just wasn't thinking about it. But yeah, I need to update my Project Wax video. 
for March. Um, and then I think I'm going to do a separate video, like walking you guys through my new shower, basically like a shower tour, how I'm organizing it, what's in there. And then also like how I'm storing my Bath Body Works collection because it has changed since the last house. Um, so I think that's going to be the video, but yeah, um, for now I am going to probably go shower and put this gift together. So yeah, <laughs> I will catch up with you guys later. Hello guys, good morning. It is Sunday the 12th. It is almost 10 and I am about to leave for my bridal shower party for my cousin. And I wanted to show you guys the final look. This little dress that I got, I think last summer, like near the end of the summer, I tried it on in a vlog. And I think I tried on like the small and it was really tight on the shoulders and I told you guys I didn't get it and everybody was like, no, no, you need to go back and buy it. So I did go back, found it in a medium and it fits perfectly and it's so cute. It's got a little bow in the back and I think it's perfect for this like spring bridal shower. So this is the look, there's a little better view. I did some like pinky eyeshadow um, and black eyeliner, which I haven't done in months. So it feels really intense, but it looks good. So <laughs> yeah, but that is the update for now. We're gonna get on the road. Um, I am riding with my mom and then my brother's girlfriend, Jessica. So we're all gonna go together and I have to help set up at the beginning and we're gonna pick up some beautiful iced sugar cookies on the way for her. And yeah, so should be a really fun day reminiscing and chatting with all the women in her life. So that is the update for now. And I will see you guys later.